<laughs> so guys, Michaela here. Uh, a sick Michaela, that is. I was gonna film a video on this, on my, you know, daily makeup, whatever, but it was too long, and YouTube doesn't let me make videos longer than 15 minutes, because stuff like that. But whatever. So, um, today, I'm gonna just be talking about the products that I love and I use on a daily let me just get this together. And some of the stuff you might hate, but um, I use it. It's the only yeah, stuff I have. The only stuff I have. Um, but yeah, whoa, my camera just moved. And my phone's at 7%. Wow. Sorry, you're gonna see my finger real quick, because, like I said, recording on my phone. Um, but yeah, so let's just get into this. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, so it's not the, probably not the best foundation to use, but I use it and it gets the job, job done. Like, it's probably like darker than my actual, you know, shade, whatever. But it's the Maybelline New York Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation in the shade Nude Light 4. I probably could get a shade lighter than this, but, um,. I just kind of found it, and I just kind of used it in my room. I mean, it looks good in this lighting. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's the foundation I use. I use, and I like. So, you know, I get actually get exploring more foundation. <laughs> like, yeah, you can kind of tell, like, my neck. and You can't tell in this lighting, but I can really tell. Um, next product. Let's just move on. So after face setting powder, sure. Um, I don't use setting powder, honestly. There's like this hack that I saw. You can use baking powder, you know, baking powder that you use to in your food. And um, honestly, I like that way better because it's cheaper and I'm I'm just ghetto like that. Ghetto. I'm not ghetto, honestly. That's not. That wasn't the right term. I don't care. Um, I'm cheap. That's, that's, that's that. Sorry, I'm gonna be, like, moving a lot, because I'm itching my foot, because these mosquitoes after Hurricane Matthew is freaking eating me up when I go outside, and, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, whatever. Uh, the brushes I use, you know, Sunday, I probably should have started that with that first. Whatever. Um, I actually have two foundation. My camera just moved. I haven't cleaned this in forever. Um, I just have two foundation brushes. I have a flat foundation brush for more like watery-ish type foundations. But they're by Eco Tools. It is a what was it? They are mm, one hundred percent tree free paper like this stuff. This is like whatever. Um, tree free paper. That's what, you know, these things are made out of. The packaging is, uh, it's 100% recyclable, it's recycled, the whatever, paper, 80% bamboo, and 20% cotton fibers. So that's, like, just this paper alone. But the brushes are, like, the bristles, what they do? like, my makeup brushes, I'm gonna be talking about these two. Um, they are cruelty-free bris bristles. Recycled aluminum, so like this part, it's recycled aluminum, and aluminum, and the bamboo handles, but yeah. Anyways, it's by Eco Tools. they come in these like, little packages, cute, whatever, mine's dirty, I've got this like, a year ago, yeah, I got these a year ago, but um, I have a flat found, flat foundation brush, that needs to get washed. All my brushes need to get washed, honestly. Like, you can't really tell, but it's gross. And a foam applicator. It's like a beauty blender, but, like, you look, you can kind of tell. That's the color it kind of was before. Um, it's like a beauty blender, but it's on a brush. What is that? Oh, just whatever. It's on a brush. Whatever. It, like, it works great. It sucks washing it, honestly. And let's not talk about my nails. They just popped off today. Whatever. But, um, yeah. I also have... Okay, let's not go under that right now. 
um, setting powder, whatever. Um, contouring, honestly, sometimes I'll use a, a powder from Mark. It's an almond skin. I've made my own cream contour with this. Obviously, like, it broke and I had to fix it. Didn't do a very good job, but I like scraped some of this in and I mixed it with a tiny bit of coconut oil and made like my a cream contour. And I use it not a lot now, but you know, it's kind of gross looking. But yeah, that's it. But like, I actually just bought this a few days ago, Sunday actually. And I've used it quite a few times, honestly. But it's the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Um, it says Contouring Palette Contour. That makes no sense. But um, it's a cruelty-free whatever. It's in the shade Dulce Leche. They have another one. This one's more yellow tone. Like this is, this is like a lightish color. Like it's it, it's it's pretty pretty intense white whatever it's like okay you see that yeah that's what it is but there's more there's a yellowish tone one like the banana powder whatever but yeah i've used that i use that now it's very i like this i like like dull still it gives you like this little model thing on the back whatever um so blush Ooh, just I'm kind of like going through this really quick because YouTube has like 15 minute rules if you don't have your YouTube verified, whatever. I don't know what that means. But um, I use Maybelline, the mineral powder, sometimes. Other times I just kind of use like this cheap brush. I don't know where it went, but it's in like, <laughs> it's somewhere, but you know, whatever. But I usually use this one, Maybelline mineral powder with naturally luminous blush in the shade original rose you know that whatever I'm trying to go i made my own highlight with like a bunch of shimmer powders whatever so that's what i use um eyes i use the nyc uh color whatever new york color it's, this is made for brown eyes but i have like greenish brown eyes like you can't really tell but like you can kind of tell. Whatever. They're made for brown eyes. And yeah. And this comes with a cream primer. Like mine's dirty because my little brother's decided to, you know, scratch this and whatever. Um, cream. What did I say? Primer. This is illuminator cream. And then, you know, you have like the like off kind of white cream color have a brown you have like a little brown that's kind of like shimmery it's like a shimmery brown I don't know. this brown that like the light brown that it's, like you can't really tell but um this one's kind of like that contouring shade whatever it's just lighter and i didn't do good and this purple shade whatever um i forgot where i put that I forgot where I put it. let's just put it here. Those are very bad swatches. Whatever. That's purple. More intense. I use purple in that light cream shade. Whatever. Brushes I use for my eye makeup. Fuck my toe. Eye makeup. Um. If I can find the last one. Four. This would be five. Ultra fine eyeliner. Smudge brush. brush. Oh, the angled brush. I just had that somewhere. Anyways. Um these little same eco tool uh cruelty free bristles aluminum recycled aluminum bamboo um this one came with there's an angled one somewhere it's this came in a kit of five brushes plus a little handbag thing um absolutely love these things they're like seven dollars from walmart but like they all fit perfectly in this little pouch thing it says eco tools with little cork whatever it's cute um this one is specifically dis designed for smoky eyes 
but since you know I do like this the crease I use this brush this brush the smudge brush I use all the brushes in here for different looks or whatever and yeah that's pretty much all I use um you know for that's pretty much it eyeliner I use the L'Oreal Paris and from the infallible collection you know in black is black or 171 black is black whatever comes with this little brush whatever um it's good like it doesn't really smudge it doesn't really budge at all really um but yeah that's that's it's great it's actually the first gel eyeliner i ever bought and i'm in love with it um i don't use liquid i use this one because it's great i use this brush for like this it could probably you know because it's like flexible i actually think this was a supposed to be you know eyebrow brush whatever yeah, it was probably like whatever i didn't do my eyebrows because i couldn't find mine whatever. um mascara i use wet and wild it's like a purple one so i lost it don't know where it's at it was in my book bag now it's not don't know where it went gonna have to buy some more it's like three dollars from dollar store i think three or four but right now I'm using this clumpy cover girl flamed out water resistant whatever mascara and since it's clumpy I use a spoolie brush and kind of go through it I didn't really hear in this look because you know obviously whatever but yeah um for my eyebrows I just use a brown eyeliner pencil come through it with a spoolie uh I don't even like line them like this I just kind of put like marks let me show you sometimes I use uh, powder Whoa. like eyeshadow powder um, whatever I don't have an eyeliner brush. Um, this is purple like I kind of just like do this through my eyebrows and then brush it through with the spoolie or if you are cheap like me you can take a toothbrush that hasn't been used obviously I've used this for eyebrows and just comb through them it works just as well as a spoolie whatever all right um that's pretty much it other than I have not been filming this with my glasses on. I don't even care. Honestly. Last thing um, I think is lipstick. Um, I use oh wow, I don't know what this is on my face, but it's like pink. Do you see this? Yeah, I do too. But um, this it is from the Infallible Collection again. L'Oreal made it. Whatever. Um, it's the Pro Matte Gloss. It is in the shade I have glitter all over my fingers that's not the shade um it's in the shade 118 fair attraction it's like you know a shade or two darker than my actual lip color it looks good it's a great nude I think it's actually my first <laughs> whatever but um it's a great nude great um I keep looking at myself in the mirror, but if you like matte matte things, don't get this, bec or things that don't transfer, because watch, you know, it like transfer, you can't really tell in this lighting, but like you can kind of tell it transfers. Um, it's not uncomfortable, like it doesn't stick, obviously. Um. But yeah, I'm, when I first was looking for, like, matte stuff, I was like, ooh, I want one that doesn't transfer, or whatever. And then I'm like, oh, does it do my teeth? I don't feel like really no. Or whatever. And that's it. Um, oh yeah, I didn't, I used, like, a fluffy brush from Mark to whatever. I just wrote. Um, so yeah, it's getting 15 minutes. Uh, I'm Michaela. I'm signing off now. Peace out. <laughs> that was awkward, but bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.